Before rubber gloves, every fisherman's wife knit mittens for her husband and experimented with the design, attempting to produce a warm, durable mitten. These mittens were knit by Fanny Johnson of Winterport, Maine. Her husband, Sidney Andrew Johnson, fished for smelts during the winter on the Penobscot River. Wives made them a foot long to shrink. Fishermen would soak them in icy salt water, lay them on deck and stamp on them, then fry them on a, the engine manifold and repeat the process three to four times until the mittens became smaller, felted, and wind tight. They were amazingly insulated, but only when wet, perfect for fishermen working at sea. They had mittens on, made all ice up, and the minute they got iced up, then your hands were warm. Mm -hmm. But you take a dry mitten and go out there in the cold, and your hands will be cold. Hmm. First thing you do is get them wet. And 